E, kwa mtu wa kwanza kupata habari zetu bonyeza neno subscribe chini ya video hii na kisha bonyeza alama kengere ya sante Kwa yanga mwalimu, mwalimu gamondi tumumona katika mechi ya kaiza chifu ambako likuwa ni kilele cha siku wana nchi Tumumona mfumu waki ndane wanja anapenda kutumia mfumu wa fosi lisili Tumiangalia kipindi cha kwanza katika fosi lisili yake alianza na kibabage, kibwana shumali katikati alikajubu pamoja na bakali mwendumu mnyeto katika mechi ile tumemwona mwalimu Gamond amependa sana kumtumia kibabage kama wingi ambako alimuhusu ya pande kibwana shumali akawa na baki nyuma alikuwa acha beki na mambi lakini hakuhusiwa kupanda maana yake kwamba yanga unapokuwa na shambulia unakuwa unatengeneza mfumo wa 3 5 2 i mean kwamba kibabage anapokuwa anapanda kwenda kushambulia nyuma kana basi na beki watatu tumemwona kipindi cha pili akafanya sabu akaondoa wachezaji wa kipindi cha kwanza akaingiza timu mpya kipindi cha pili ambapo beki namba 2 huko alikaa kwa sioyo huko beki namba 3 akakaa Romalisa katikati kiungo akamuingiza zawadi mau ya gift katika mfumo huo huo tumeona tumeona kocha Gamond akitumia mawingi baki kwenda kupanda akimtumia Romalisa kupanda pamoja na kwa sioyo kwenda kupanda maana yake ni kama kipindi cha kwanza alimtumia winga mo mtumia beki namba 3 mmoja kupanda kipindi cha pili akawapandisha mabeki wote zawadi gift ya mauya ambayo kiwalisia ni defensing midfield alimrudisha nyuma kutengeneza tena bakisilia i mean kwamba anapokuwa katika shape yake ya kawaida anatumia mfumo wa 4 3 3 ila anapokuwa anashambulia anatumia mfumo wa 3 5 2 kwa hiyo kupitia mfumo huo anakuwa anaruhusu kutengeneza idadi kubwa ya namba ya washambuliaji wanapokuwa wanashambulia tazama goli la kwanza ambalo linapatikana max inatoka kwa max weli inaenda moja kwa moja kwa msonda anafunga goli namba kubwa sana ya watu liko pombele wakati ile goli linafungika skudo aliko pombele denis ikana aliko pombele max aliko pombele msonda aliko pombele kwa hiyo hiyo inachojiza nini hiyo inachojiza kwamba ni ule ushapo wa kushambulia na kujilinda kwa wakati mmoja ulipokopo bola chini ya kocha gamont kwa live lakini naamini hakutokuwa na mabadiliko makubwa sana ya kikosi sitaki kuamini kama hawa wachezaji wapya wanaosajiliwa wengi wao wanaweza kaingia moja kwa moja kimini kakuta kwa na mabadiliko na mimi kikosi kitakuwa vile vile ya yeah. kwa hiyo kwa vikosi hivyo na kwa tasimini hiyo na mimi kabisa mechi tenda kwa kubwa sana na mechi hiyo itakupo ina vita vikubwa sana pale katikati tazama denda la katikati la yanga viungo wa yanga na ongelea pale kuna ucho katikati na muongelea Jonas Mkude usajili mpya msimu na muongelea gift mauya na muongelea Shua Boy kwa hiyo katikati leo kutoka kupo na bato kubwa sana natamani watu wote leo kwa shudi kitachoendelea katikati ya uwanja na matokeo ya leo yatachangizwa na mtu ambaye atakuwa katikati kwenye ambaye atakuwa na ubora katikati ya uwanja ndio atapata matokeo mazuri sio kama kuna kitu ambacho alikuwa na kificha lakini naamini kila kitu kinakuwa kina utaratibu kwenye swala so, lazima la kurusha matangazo au la kurusha mechi tumeona pre season yao yanga azam wamefanyia katika nchi ya Tunisia ni wamekaa kipindi kirefu na wamecheza mechi nyingi sana lakini mechi zote tukao tunapata matokeo ya moja kwa moja sio kurusha kwa hiyo naamini kwa mbinu nyingine inaweza kawa ni kuto kutaka kuonesha sila zao moja kwa moja kwa sababu hau sio mbinu. Sitaki kuamini kama kuficha kwa kuto kuingia kwa mashabiki, hau kuficha kwa kuto kuonesha kwa mechi. Kuneza kukasedia kitu chuchote katika mechi ya leo. Mechi ya leo itajumuishwa na ubola. Zoezi ambao mefanya katika pre-season, ndo na mini kwa asilimia kubwa ya tasaidia kuenda kwa hapa kitu katika mechi ya leo. Lakini inje ya hapo, waoneshe mechi, wasioneshe mechi, walusu mashabiki, wasilusu mashabiki, akito kusaidia wala kupunguza kitu chuchote katika mechi ya losufaina ya leo. Young African Sports Club wanakuenda kupambana na zuwa wambao walikuwa nao msimu ulio pita na walionesha mchangu mkubwa sana kwenye timu. Kumfano pale tuna Fisto ni kalala mayele kwa sasa hayupo, tuna Yani Kibanga la Litombo hayupo, tuna Juma Shabani japo haijawa last me lunch di lakini Juma Shabani hata kuwepo pia. Unadhani Young African Sports Club wana uwezo ama wanawezo wakawa na hile morali ama ile power ya kuweza kuwavaa za MFC na kupata matokeo. Okay, kiwalisia kama Molali, Molali bado ipo kizingatia hao ndo mabingwa tetezi wa kombe la ngao ya jamii. Hao ndo wana finali wa shirikisho Afrika. Hao Yanga ndo mabingwa tetezi wa ligi kuu Tanzania bara. Nadhani hadi sasa hivi changamoto kubwa ambayo wanao Yanga ni mlisi sahihi wa maele. Hadi sasa hivi hajapatikana mlisi sahihi wa maele kwa asilimia mia moja tulejea hapa kwenye mlisi wa maele kuna mchezaji ambao wamemsajili anaitwa Hafiz Konkon 
Uh, ametu, uh, uh, amemaliza wakati amemaliza ligi amecheza nadhani uh, michezo 25 akiwa na mabao 15. Ukiangalia kwa haraka haraka ni kama anamkaribia Mayele, ni kama anaifikia ile rekodi ya Mayele. Huenda huyu akawa ni mbadala sahihi wa Fison Kalala Mayele. Of course anaweza kawa mbadala sahihi au sio mbadala sahihi kwa sababu huyu Afizi hatujaye kumshuhudia katika mechi zote kubwa. Afizi amekuja Tanzania akiwa na rekodi zake. Sio mchezaji ambaye tulimuona akifanya kitu kikubwa katika mechi kubwa mfano tumeona usajili wa Zizi Kelvoleto Tanzania, tumeona kitu alichokifanya Afrika Mashariki na Tanzania kwa kiujumla wote walimuona Ziziki, tuliona ubora wake, aliwafunga Simba nyumbani ugenini, aliwafunga La Sibelikane. Kwa hiyo ni mchezaji ambaye amekuja moja kwa moja tukiwa hatuna wasiwasi au, au mashaka juu ya kiongo chake. Kwa hiyo lakini kwa Afizi ni mtu ambaye amekuja takwimu na magoli yake tunaona YouTube na Instagram lakini sio mchezaji ambaye tushamshuhudia katika mechi yote kubwa kwa hiyo kwangu mimi naweza nikasema anaweza kafiti kwa sababu tusimkadirie mtu bado hatujamwona katika mechi lakini kiwalisia pengo la maele bado ni kubwa panahitajika mchezaji mwenye kiwango cha kimataifa mchezaji mwenye profile kubwa mchezaji ambaye ametuprove katika mechi za kimataifa ndio moja kwa moja anaweza kuja kuvivaa viatu vya maele moja kwa moja uh kuna swala la Fiso Nikalala Mayele nafasi yake ya ushambuliaji wana Kennedy Musonda na Kennedy Musonda kwa haraka haraka tukirejea nyuma ni mtu ambaye amefunga kwenye mechi zile muhimu sana unadhani Kennedy Musonda anaweza kaiziba nafasi ya Fiso Nikalala Mayele no doubt tumemuona Kennedy Musonda akijitahidi akipambana tumeona msimu uliopita kwenye mechi nyingi za umuhimu za Yanga amekuwa akifunga tumeona msimu huu ameanza vizuri goli lake zuri game zidi akaiza chifu naamini akiendelea kupewa nafasi kuna kitu ambacho anaweza kaja kukifanya naamini kabisa Musonda anaweza akawaziba masikio wa na Yanga na kuwafuta machozi juu ya kuondoka kwa Maele lakini ana kazi kubwa sana kutokana na aina ya staili aliyokuwa anacheza Maele Maele ni aina ya mshambuliaji ambaye alikuwa anakupa goli kwenye nyakati zozote ngumu anakupa goli wakati wote na saa yote Maele ndio aina ya mshambuliaji ambaye alikuwa anatoka kuja kutafuta mpira nje ya box ni mchezaji ambaye alikuwa anaweza kujitengenezea mwenye nafasi tofauti na Musonda Musonda ni type za wachezaji ambao wanahitaji watengeneze nafasi nzuri ndo wafunge tofauti na Maele. Kwa hiyo Musonda ana kazi kubwa sana lakini when it comes kwenye swala la kufunga, Musonda akipata nafasi anafunga na naamini akiongeza kitu anaweza kwa namna moja ama nyingine kuwafuta machozi wa Yanga na kusahau kabisa bali za Maele. Right, we prepare him very, very well for uh, this important game for us and even for the country we represent the country and uh, hopefully tomorrow we can do a, a very good game and we can achieve a good result as well. Coach, Habari. Uh, uh, how do you know uh, Asa's team uh, in terms of their previous games? An experience for them and the from the last tournament you play in Tanga, team shows very good performance, but the challenge was to put the ball in the net. How do you prepare to, to see changes from the coming game, especially for tomorrow game? Hello. Um, honestly, we don't know too much about this team. We have some little bit of information, but um, even they, they don't play now. We starting and it's a, a new season, a new game. But hopefully, I think it's a good, it's a good team. We we'll respect a lot, and we will see what happens tomorrow inside the pitch. But we don't have a, a big knowledge for the, the team. Uh, for the second question, yeah. The most important in football is to put the ball in the net. First game we did very well, we scored two goals. Second game uh, we missed chances, but uh, this football is our third game, competitive game we play. It's normally we are in a process uh, to building this identity for the, the team. Might still of play the game, but uh, we will prepare, we will work, we have uh, room for improvement, especially in the, in the last third, in finishing. And I hope tomorrow we can, we can be more clinical, uh, we can score goals. 
Gracias. Coach, uh, congratulations for the team. But it seems uh, you're managing Young Africans, the finalist of Confederation Cup last season, and you are going to play in a CAF Champions League. The team had never entered in the group stage for the last 20 recent years. Is it giving you a pressure? Being in a such tournament of CAF Champions League with a such record? Very good pressure. Positive pressure. It's a responsibility to play for this jersey, to play for this fan, and uh, for a big club how is young African. But pressure is... Uh, it's not because it's normal, a big team must play uh, every year in international competition and we have the, the mandate to be the most high possible in, uh, in this competition and for sure for young guys it's a, it's a goal to achieve something in the Champions League who uh, I think is a, a big wish for fans, for management, for staff for players, everything to do well in, in Champions League. But we are a professional and we must manage the pressure you know, to get